Hey, what's up everyone? Dominator GX coming at ya. So this is my, uh, I think, third event after getting the PGA Tour card. And I just wanted to share with you today on how I am averaging 325 yard drives. Now, this one's a little shy, it's 325, but... So I'm going to show you each hole where it's, you know, full driver. So obviously with the first two holes you saw, I will literally go up. You know, just gotta press the triangle button on your PS4 DualShock. So just like this. And you kind of have to scope it out because you don't want to make a silly mistake, right? But the most important thing after you scope scope out the fairway is on the right hand side that circle with the white bar you don't have to be straight I don't even know if you can get it straight completely but you have to stay within the white lines um, and to do that you literally just pull back on the right analog stick straight as possible and then in one Bell soup one motion you have to press forward uh, when you do that obviously it's kind of hard to keep it incredibly straight because let's just face it there's something going on within the you know the gamepad DualShock and the game itself so it, it literally gives you a line um, and it is what it is, you know. Um, here, I'm doing a little draw. Depending on the shape of the hole, uh, you can either do a draw like this one where the curvature is from right to left, or you can do a fade. Uh, I have a three wood fade coming up soon. But um, in real life, I believe you get a extra distance from draws, but for some reason in this game I didn't so that was kind of annoying and the game will try to tell you hey use a three wood uh, kind of lay up and nope I never lay up so now this one I don't you know it's is it dangerous I wouldn't say it's dangerous but it's one of those high risk high reward type situations and as in real golf, I will always opt to get to the any point, any shot, get to as close to the hole as possible. So that one worked out really well, as you saw. And this is just a preference when you have a split fairway like this. Um, to me, there's more forgiveness on the left-hand side. So I, I opted to go the left side now this one's at 102 percent power I'll be yet to get more than 103 percent uh, but you will get like you know extra five six yards if you do it right but the further you pull back the right stick to get more power the more the less control you're gonna have on your follow-through swing so pull back that's your back swing and then you literally push forward that's your follow-through so I mean as you see I haven't missed a fairway um, and then all of my blue lines within the white line, white um, rectangle within the circle, if you will. The blue lines are always within the white, so. Now this one, See, and then the curvature of the hole would dictate whether you get extra roll or not. And this one funnels to the right side of the fairway. And then with the, the three wood, I will show you what a fade shot looks like. See how I went with the left stick on the left, you see the circle? Yep. I'm just using the left stick. And that's a, you know, you. You just have to feel comfortable. I, just, I don't want to hit the trees. That's a nice path. And then the ball itself should now funnel towards the hole. Very nice shot. 
and an eagle putt coming up so as in real life as in real golf if you get a good drive um, your possibilities of you know birdie par per par or birdie increase obviously and in this case with nice drive and nice three wood I was able to secure an eagle very nice, I'm at 10 under, no blemishes on the scorecard as you can see, because I'm just... Right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the board. Yeah, I thought I would go ahead and let the British guys talk. So I only had a few more holes. I'm cutting out the par threes, obviously, too. And then there was one hole where um, if, I, if I hit a 320-yard drive, I would be in the water, because the hole was separated by a body of water between the fairway and the green so okay so this one I you know just a lot of these and it really doesn't matter how difficult to hold the course is you're gonna have to hit the fairway and what I try to envision in my mind even if the fairway is really really wide I try to pick a pick a place I know who I like and then what I want to do is try to hit that spot each and every time because that's going to help you Absolutely in case there are courses with very narrow fairways so it's sort of a mental preparation if you will and if you're struggling with uh, the swing mechanics just just go to the driving just go to the driving range in the game and you know practice right practice makes perfect or perfect practice Whoa, makes perfect that's a drive. so even though you see the blue line on the right hand side even though that's not straight as you can see it's within the white bar and therefore I got another 326 yard drive so that's it I, I won um, my second trophy after getting the PGA Tour how awesome five stroke lead and well, a few free stuff on behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. And putting I think is going to be my next tips and tricks cuz it's not easy. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.